Welcome to episode 66 and a season 3 finale of the quest lore series, Legends Quest. To start this quest you must have completed Family Crest, Heroes Quest, Shiloh Village, Underground Pass and Waterfall Quest. The guards of the Legends Guild tell you that to become a member you must complete a quest. They see that you're eligible and direct you to Vizier Urkel. His quest for you is to map the Karazi jungle, befriend a Karazi tribesman and bring back a token of their friendship. Entering the jungle, you map it from the eastern, central and western side. You let a jungle forester make a copy of it and they hand you a ball roarer which you can use to attract the Karazi tribes members attention. Swinging it, you meet Gujuo, who tells you that his tribes totem pole has been polluted by an evil spirit and their shaman Ungadulu went to confront the spirit but has not returned. You offer to help and he points you towards the VLD caves where the shaman communes with the spirits. Ungadulu is surrounded by a wall of fire in the form of an octogram. Possessed by an evil spirit, it channels through him and asks you to douse the fires with pure water. Gujuo explains how to obtain the water, handing you a sketch. With it, you make a bowl of gold, which he then blesses, and you cut a hollow reed by using a machete on the tall reeds by the edge of the sacred pool. With this, you fill the bowl. Back in the cave, behind a bookcase, you find a crevice passage and come across an ancient gate which you pick lock. Then you mine three boulders and push some heavy doors, passing death wings and climbing over a jagged wall. Further inside you find the markings on a wall giving a riddle. Using a soul, mind, earth and two law runes a door appears. In the next room you fit seven different gems on carved rocks sitting in pools of water, creating a light show and a binding book appears. Back at the wall of fire you use the blessed water to enter and then hold the book of binding in front of Ungadulu. The pages shine and Nizik Shined spawns. After defeating the demon, Ungadulu gives you Yomi tree seeds needed to make a new totem pole, firstly by soaking them in some sacred water. When you go to collect more water, the pool dries up, replaced by a deadly smelling sludge. Gujuro tells you that deeper into the Vieldi caves is the source of the water, but it's guarded by angry spirits of the undead. To progress deeper, you need to be brave. Gujuro teaches you how to make a bravery potion by using snakeweed and ardrigal. In the room with seven pools, you cast a charge orb spell on the ancient gate and are sucked into another part of the cave. Here you use a rope on the winch, drink the bravery potion and venture deeper into the darkness below. The spirit of Vieldi warns you with a riddle of the dangers that progress in this cave. Climbing over the rocks, you make it down the path. Now you fight three undead warriors named Ranulf de Vere, Ervig Sene, and San Tojalon, who drop the parts of a crystal. These are combined in a furnace to make a heart crystal, and you hear a voice inside your head, remembering the Eldi's riddle, to bring life to the dragon's eye. Using the heart crystal on a mossy rock, it starts to glow, now fitting in a heart-shaped grove, unlocking the barrier to the deepest part of the cave. You see a boulder covering the source of the spring, and when you try to move it, a spirit named Ekned Zekin appears, his name an anagram of Nizik Shined. He is tormented not to rest whilst Vieldi remains a spirit. He hands you a dark dagger made of pure obsidian to kill Vieldi. When showing this dagger to Ungadulu, he gives you a Holy Force spell card, which will reveal Ekned Zekin's true form. Once defeated again, you open the source of the spring, restoring the sacred pool with water. Gujuo senses a new lightness in the forest, the air tasting more fresh. Finding a patch of fertile soil, you plant a seed and it quickly grows. You add more water, chop it down and carve a new totem pole. When attempting to replace the old corrupted pole, the demon Nekishined appears one final time. Finally defeated, you place the new pole. Gujuo offers you a gilded totem which you bring to Radimus Urkel along with the notes of the completed map. He has the totem placed in the guild and you're welcomed as a member of the Legends Guild rewarded with 120,000 experience. Completing this quest is a requirement for Dragon Slayer 2 and Recipe for Disaster. Thank you very much for watching Season 3 of the Quest Lore series. Join me next time in Season 4 where I'll explain the lore behind the Fremenic Trials.